Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we've got something just a little bit different. This stunning piece of equipment, it's actually a kit. Can you guess what continent it come from? Answers in the comments please for that. You'll know what it is from them already. We'll get this unpacked. There's big clues here what this is. And That all into shot so you can see it. I'm going to let you into the clue. The clue should be in the title anyway. Um, this is a spot welder kit. So I'm going to build a spot welder. But I'm going to want build one that's a little bit different. First item we're going to focus on is the main board. Let's see if we get this open. Let's see what I've got here. So this out of the packet, this is the main board, and you can see there's a couple of switches on it there. And there's, this is for the power supply to go. See? Minus, plus, and there's the outlets for the spot welding ends. I sent this little instructional leaflet, you know. Might read that sometime. I've sort of already figured it out, so I'll throw that over there. Right, the next thing we have is the two power leads that will power the spot welder. And there's four bolts. Two for this end, two for this end with nuts, of course. There's also the two welding leads. You can see that. And they, of course, go on that end. Just over here. They've sent this heat shrink as well, which sure it'll be to um, insulate these, I would imagine, if you're not sparking the two of them together when you're welding. So we'll get to that in a moment. So might as well get down to building this. plus side the minus side The same goes for the welding side, just a plus and a minus there too. And the same goes for this side. Plus and a minus on this side too. So. As you may or may not be aware, this wonderful device did not come with a power supply of its own. But I've had a cunning plan. I'm going to fix it to suit this DeWalt 18 volt battery. Now this wonderful device is set to operate between 9 and 16 volts. However, this battery operates between 17 and 20 volts. So how will I get around this? I have another cunning plan. I'm going to use this voltage dropper, which can drop from 20 volts down to 12, which is ideal for this. So we need to connect the so we need to connect this power supply to the battery adapter that will fit in this battery.
So here we have it now, the battery connector down to the voltage dropper, down to the wonderful spot welding device itself and then to the tips, the welding tips. So that's it, sort of made up in the configuration that it will be. For all intents and purposes that is a fully assembled spot welder but it's just scattered across the whole place like a, I don't know, a cat of nine tails or something so I think we need to do a better job and making it more of a compact unit. Gauge use this Stormforce Draper battery pack casing that I have laying around to house the voltage dropper. I'll probably attach that on the bottom of the side or something. Just to make some kind of device. So that's the lid on that now. Isn't that a thing of beauty? Here's the moment of truth. We have light. We'll go with halfway at about 48. I'm loving this thing. Just put a bit of strip on here, just to see if she goes. Let's see. Hmm. I can't get this to weld on the DeWalt battery, even with the flex fault. But I've had another idea. It with the uh, the DeWalt system not working on this I've had to take another approach I've attached these the same type of adapter basically I'm going to try it in some Milwaukee M12 batteries to see if we can get a good spot weld we were set to 95 with the M12 battery I'm going to try and solder this little bit of old strip onto this old cell Worked anyway. It's on there. It's on there. So a bit of a, a bit of an unusual success with this one. I've just built the craziest spot welder known to man. Doesn't work on the 18 volt, but I got it to work on the 12 volt Milwaukee. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for more videos.